Vivid Artistic Hair Design. I am here today with Sarah. She Hi. is my lovely model for the technique that I am going to try to work on and perfect. It's not something that I've ever actually done before. I'm calling it fragments. Um, it's not pixel, it's not block coloring, it's not typical highlights, it's not my sand art or chameleon color where the entire head is colored. Um, it's, it's going to be fragmented color and I'm going to end up pretty much showing you guys how I do it every step of the way. I want to get really good at it so I'm able to educate when I do my classes. So Sarah found me, or I found Sarah. She's followed me for a while on social media, and so I casted needing a model, and she was a saint and lifted her hair up to the level we need um, for the project. Um, however, it's just a little bit sad right now, a um, little it's bit mad. compromised. It's mad at me. It's pissed off. Like, <laughs> let's just like, call it what it is. It's fucking angry is what it is. But with the help of good old Olaplex, our friend Olaplex, um, and some TLC and a nice healthy cut, we're going to make sure that we're able to do what we need to do with the color and also bring it back into the realm of healthy um, happy hair. So that's what we're doing today. I wish you guys could feel it and actually feel the texture. I mean, you can kind of tell by me going like this. Hair shouldn't typically stand up <laughs> no, straight. Not at all. Typically, <laughs> healthy hair would kind of have some bend to it, but um, hers is quite erect when you yeah. hold it up right now. I've got a little bit of, you know, talking to Guy Tang and having him be my best friend, I can't help but to work words like erect into my consultation or, or the intro to my video. But um, we're going to get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is give her a shadow root with Kenra 8SM um, with 10 volume. So I'm going to go in and just basically do like a root touch up creating a shadow root. And then I'm going to use, I think I ended up mixing, um, Redken shades, one part 9T to one part 9B, and so it's going to be a really sheer silvery platinum, and then I'm also going to go in and add a halo all around the perimeter of the 8SM, so with the haircut we're going to do, it's going to look like um, basically like a shadow halo, and so the colors will fall on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it and start applying and then we'll go from there. So the first thing I'm going to want to do to prepare Sarah's hair, um, like I said, she's already pre-lightened for me. You can see a little bit of brassiness and a little bit of spottiness in the back when I separate the hair like that. Um, so I'm also going to combat and get rid of that by doing what I'm doing, but I have the Kenra SM, and, and I've already have, I already have it sectioned into fours. Um, I prepared it by outlining the, the quad or the four sections. So I'm going to go through, like I'm basically doing a root touch up. Um, I'm making sure not to make it like a really hard linear um, line when I apply section to section because I want it to look really organic, like it grew out that way. Um, I think if you melt uh, a shadow root, instead of uh, making every little section uh, come down the same amount of silver, I think it looks a little bit more organic. And um, I'm taking a piece of foil right there putting it on the top of the hair because so I don't want to contaminate, for lack of a better word, I don't want to contaminate all that rest of the blonde with this SM formula. So I have that piece of foil there to lay the sections on as I work down. So basically just creating a, sa a silver shadow root and then after I've applied that and it's been on, I'm going to tone with the Redken 199B. So those are the colors in the bowl that I'm going to be using. And you're going to see right there in the side-by-side, -side, that's the pattern, that, or one of the patterns as I move through the head that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the MB Mesh and also the Fremar Foil. So I have tons of products and tools that I use, um, and those are just some of them. So I have some locked in that I'm using. You see the yellow is locked in, the green is locked in. Um, they're all custom mixed. Um, and a little tip, if you want to actually see the true tone of the Pravana Locked In, you add a little bit of clear to it, it actually makes it more visible or obvious. Um, you don't add so much clear that it changes the, the performance of it, but you just add a little bit and you can see what's happening in the bowl, so it's not super translucent. Um, so, I'm just going through, starting from the bottom, working my way up towards the top, using the mesh, the MB mesh at first to isolate my sections and give me a platform to paint on. Um, and you'll see in the video, I'm wanting to hold it really super taut and have a really 
flat um, surface for me to work on because what I need to do is pretty precise and very linear. So in this section or with this section, I have one of the, the formulas, which is the Pravana locked in with a little bit of clear. And I'm painting on, making sure not to grab um, too much of the hair below it or above it with the brush. So you got to kind of tap it a little bit to work it in. And then you can just perfect your, your line or the fact that it's like a linear uh, horizontal strip. Um, and then the next color I'm going to use, you can see the green, and it's you guys' um, interpretation, whatever you want, but I'm just creating lines in the hair, which are going to end up looking um, like fragmented color, which is why I call this fragment. Um, so it's just up to you what color combinations that you use. You can see there I have the blue actually touching the coral. Sometimes, like in the last section, it would be a color, and then that silver, and then another color. Um, and you can see as well what what I did with the shadow root, the Kendra SM, and then how icy her hair looks compared to the very golden color or the golden blonde that it was. So just take little section by little section, make sure it's really um, on the thinner side um, so you can saturate completely. So just move up the head, working towards the front. I had to get up now, damn it. <laughs> I like being as lazy as possible, but I had to get up to see what I'm doing. You want to make sure you stand uh, front and center, or uh, center and behind the section. Um, so yeah, I'm just working my way up. You guys, like I said, you know, it's your own creative license on uh, what sections you're going to do. Um, so yeah, you're, you're watching me uh, figure this out as I go. I was really happy with the outcome. You guys are going to see the outcome in a minute. Um, and so have fun with this. I hope you guys like the technique and just uh, continue to have fun with it. I'm doing the, the side pieces right here um, a lot, pretty much the same way that I did the back. Uh, that pink was one of my favorites, so I used that a lot. The coral was another one of my favorites. This is one of the few times you're going to see me apply direct dye using a color brush. Typically, to really, really get it in there and really, really saturate it, because uh, you know you guys have to saturate the heck out of uh, direct dyes because there's no ammonia to direct dye, so there's nothing to swell the cuticle and help drive the color in. So you have to physically really work it in there. Um, so this is one of the very few times I'm, I'm using a brush. Um, and then I'm just section by section isolating it between using the mesh and using the Fermar foils. And I used a Fermar brush as well. Um, so she's already got her makeup almost done, I just noticed that. It's been a long time since I we filmed this and did it and so I'm finally editing it for you guys and getting it out there I'm sorry if I if I posted the pictures on Instagram and uh, you were like where the hell is this at so now's the time and and there's a little peek of what's going on it's a little watermelon yummy little section in there Pick, this is like watching it all over again experiencing it all over again as well with you guys as I as I do the voiceover and get ready to publish this I was so happy with the outcome and I want you to know um, have fun with this experiment. Like, look at this one. This is the next model, um, and I did dots. Instead of it being really linear and graphic, I colored her entire hair uh, a violet, and then I went in with a beauty blending brush. You know how they're circular? I went in, I dabbed a little bit of color, direct dye also, on it, locked in, and then I, I used it kind of as a stencil, and then I created little circular images on her hair. Um, so have fun with it. I use the lines for the fragments and then circular fragments. So this is surface painting. Locked in allows you to do that. You guys have a blast with it. I did. And so just step outside of your box, create some fun things, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll definitely be posting more. I appreciate the support. Follow me. Everything's going to be down below at Vivid Artistic Hair Design. I thank you guys so much.